I think that by the end of the century, there will be some people living on Mars. They'll be bold pioneers and adventurers, privately funded. They will be in a hostile environment and they will use all the techniques of genetic modification and cyborg techniques to adapt to that environment. Of course, those techniques will be regulated on Earth, but they'll be away from all the regulations. And I think they will, in a century or two, have really evolved into a different species. And they may even become purely electronic. And if that's the case, then they won't need an atmosphere, they won't need gravity, and this may be the start of an expansion of our remote progeny beyond the solar system. New technologies, cyber technology and biotechnology, empower individuals and small groups to a far greater extent than was possible in the past. And this opens up huge opportunities, but also risk of error or terror. And I think we need to deploy expertise in the university and globally to decide which of these threats are science fiction and can be dismissed, and which are serious threats which we need to address. I think um, organic human beings obviously uh, will be limited in the same way all animals are, but of course what's an exciting prospect in the future is whether machines will achieve many human capabilities. It's not clear whether they can, but certainly robotics and machine learning are techniques advancing so fast that we will have machines which certainly have many of the features of humans. Whether they will be really like humans, whether they will be really conscious, we still don't know about. But I think those machines will have a big role here on Earth and an even bigger role in space, which is a very hostile environment for humans, but where robots can, of course, exist without gravity, without an atmosphere. <laughs>